Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the BitFPV ExpressLRS micro receiver. This 2.4 GHz radio receiver is capable of outputting either PWM or crossfire signal and in this quick video I'm going to go over its features and specs, show you how to use it and install it on my new RC airplane which I'm going to feature in an upcoming video. In terms of features and specs, the weight of the micro radio receiver is 4.6 grams, so it is significantly heavier than the light radio receiver. The telemetry output power of these two radio receivers is 17 milliwatts, so it is pretty much limited, and in comparison, the telemetry output power of the nano radio receiver by BitFPV, which I currently don't have in hand, is 100 milliwatts. In addition, the outer dimensions of the radio receiver are 18.5 by 32 by 12 mm including the servo pin headers and 7 mm without them and here you can see what the radio receiver looks like without its plastic shell so as you can see the antenna is properly secured to the radio receiver using a heat shrink so it's very unlikely that the IPX connector is going to be accidentally disconnected from the radio receiver. As I've mentioned earlier, this radio receiver can output either Crossfire or PWM signal. Out of the box, it comes with the PWM firmware, which I recommend to update in order to set a binding phrase, and shortly I'm going to show you how to bind this radio receiver with a radio transmitter, and also how to set it up using the web interface. In case you are interested in using the Crossfire output, which is something that is not really recommended as I recommend to use a dedicated smaller radio receiver for that purpose, it is possible, and for that you'll be able to use the RX and TX pins of channel number 3 and number 2, you need to wire them to a free UART port and flash this radio receiver with the Beta FPV Micro Express LRS radio receiver firmware. As for binding the radio receiver with a radio transmitter, Entering binding mode using the stock firmware is done by plugging and unplugging the radio receiver three times in a row to a power source. When the blue LED flashes in a double pattern, it indicates that now the receiver is ready to be bound, and after successfully binding it with a radio transmitter, the blue LED turns solid. In order to update the radio receiver to the latest PWM firmware, and in order to set the binding phrase, use the ExpressLRS Configurator tool. Set the device category and device options to the following ones, and after setting up your favorite binding phrase and configuring the radio receiver, build the new firmware. Then in order to enter Wi-Fi mode, power up the receiver without binding it to a radio transmitter. It's going to take about a minute for the radio receiver to enter binding mode, and it is going to be indicated by a rapidly flashing blue LED. After joining the newly generated Wi-Fi network on your mobile device or computer, you will be able to configure the radio receiver by heading to the following web address, and using this web page, you will be able to update the firmware of the radio receiver and configure the five PWM outputs in case you're using the PWM firmware. Using the PWM output options, you will be able to set the input channel, invert the channel, and set the failsafe value which the radio receiver is going to be set to in case a failsafe will occur. And don't forget to press the set PWM output button as otherwise your settings are not going to be saved. Now I've got the two motors and servos of the Etomarc Flying Fish RC airplane which I'm going to review soon connected to the Beta FPV Express LRS micro receiver. Let's power it up. And as you can see, all the servos are working properly and it's important to make sure that the fail safe is properly set as you wouldn't want the RC airplane to fly on its own in case a fail safe is going to occur. So what I recommend to do is to turn off your radio controller after Pushing the throttle up a bit. The server is still connected. And as you can see, the motor shut down because the failsafe value was set to below 1000. Anyway, that's going to do it for my quick review of the Beta FPV Express LRS micro receiver, which again I'm going to test soon on my upcoming review of the Etomarc Flying Fish. 
As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.